Just over a year ago, 17-year-old Vicky Hall was murdered in Suffolk. Detectives had several leads, but all have proved fruitless, and that pretty much takes them back to square one. So, 13 months on, it's up to you. What's your favourite pop group? At the moment, at this moment in time, it's just Spice Girls. Ooh, best actor. Ah, what's he? Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. <laughs> what about drinks here, Vicky? DiCaprio. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was our firstborn. She was just Victoria. Yeah. She was our little girl. And she was a little girl. She wasn't a tomboy. She was a proper little girl. Dresses, makeup, music. She was making her own decisions. She was talking about going to university, going on holiday with her friends. It's growing up. You have to let them grow up. You can't keep them at home with you all the time. That nice one wasn't there tonight. Yeah. Do you see what his mate was wearing? Yeah, gross. Oh, I fancy some chips. Yeah. I've only got taxi money left. Me too. Chips means walking. Yeah. Chips. Chips. A happy, friendly little girl. She did enjoy her dancing. She was quite intelligent. She used to, she was doing well at the school works and, and things and she was really enjoying the sixth form. Tomorrow. Yeah. You hear me saying out of the way home. Put your shoes back on. See ya. Bye. She got onto the estate where she'd lived since she was born and she thought she was safe there. I was just walking past the fish and chip shop in Trimley and I thought I heard a scream. But obviously I didn't think at the time. I think that I should have registered. Maybe thought about what a little Vicky was walking down there. But because you, you never think that it's going to happen, so that's probably why I didn't. Vicky disappeared, and her family agonised about where she was and what had happened to her. 25 miles away at Creeting St Peter, there's one potential clue. The morning after Vicky vanished, a customised blue Vauxhall Astra van was seen in Pound Lane. It needs to be checked out of the inquiry because a week later, Vicky's body was discovered dumped in a ditch beside the road. The feelings are just the same a year ago as they are today. It's just that some, most of the time we cope with them a lot better. But we all miss her so very, very much. When your child gets married, you know they're going to move away, but they're always in contact. You can phone them up, you can write a letter, you can speak to them. But we haven't got that anymore. Victoria's gone and we can't ever speak to her again. And that feeling never, ever goes away. It's there all the time. So tragic. So little to go on. 
It's had so much publicity, this. It was such a big event in East Anglia. Presumably everybody who had solid suspicions has long ago come to you. That's right, it's a terrible crime which affected the whole community. But I believe there's still somebody out there that may be wondering, although not wanting to believe it, that some member of their family, their, their, their husband, their son or a relative, uh, may, their behaviour may have changed about this period on the 19th of September a year ago. So what you're asking for is anybody in, in what sort of area, in the whole of East Anglia or in the whole of Anybody who, who may know that their relative has got connections with Creeting St Peter or Trimley St Mary in Suffolk, who may have noticed behaviour changing, perhaps somebody that morning came home, they were dishevelled. That would have been a Sunday morning. Sunday morning in the early hours between say half past two and six a.m., something like that, where they would have come home and the next morning, quite unnaturally, wanted to wash their clothing or wanted to clean the car. Maybe they sold the car. Or perhaps took an un unusual interest in the publicity thereafter. I mean, just anything that arouses suspicion. Anything that arouses suspicion and that there may be connections with that area. I know people would not want to believe that of someone that they knew, but we really need help to find out what happened to Vicky. Now, this customised blue Astra van, can't be many of those around, but you still have been unable to trace the one that was seen. Yes, we've eliminated a, a number from the East Anglian area, but it's still important. This vehicle may be involved, or it might not be. He may be a witness. He may have seen something which is suspicious. I would appeal for whoever that driver is, or somebody who knows uh, that vehicle, to come forward and ring us at the incident room. OK, well, if you have uh, any suspicions, even very slight suspicions, let the police check it out. It's easy for them to do so. Call here in the studio. Or you can call the incident room, that's on 01473 613540. And if you want to give information anonymously on this, or any other crime, you can call Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 111.